Now in this video we're going to be making some baby stacking cups. Um, do them in any colour, any size. I'm going to start off with a smaller one. I'm just going to do the four and then if you want to make more of them you just increase in size as you go. You'll get the idea as you make them working their way up. So I've done a pink set, I'm going to make a blue set. I just use a two millimetre hook, my stitch marker and my scissors. Okay, I'm going to start off with the smallest cup, which is this centre one here. And I'm going to start with a magic circle. And we are going to do six single crochets into that magic circle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to replace my stitch marker. If you need more help with the magic circle, I do have another video up there that will help you. And then what we need to do is we need to tidy this bit up because it's a bit loopy. So we pull on the other end gently and then you'll see it suddenly tighten up like so. And then you use the other one to close the ring. Okay, for round two, we're going to increase in every stitch. So this is our first one here. And in every single stitch, you are going to put two single crochets. That's not quite got them all. I'm using cotton, which has got about five or six strands to it. So you do need to make sure you pick up all your strands. Otherwise, you'll end up a bit loopy. So that's the first one. That's two. Three, four, five, and the last one is number six. Let's remove our stitch marker so we can get to that one. Number six. And always remember to play, replace your stitch marker. Row three, we're going to be doing one single crochet and then an increase in the next stitch. And we're going to follow that pattern all the way around. So then we've got one single crochet. And in the next stitch, we're doing two. That's our increase. So if you want to carry on, I'm going to meet you back under your stitch marker. Row four, we want a two single crochets and then our increase. Now for the smallest cup, this is going to be our last increase round. So you do two and then you're increasing the next stitch, so two in the same stitch. And you just follow that pattern all the way around and I'll meet you back under your stitch marker. Now in row five, we're going to be working in the back loop only. So this back one here, and then you're literally going to do a single crochet in every stitch all the way around, just in those back loops. So I'll let you hit pause and carry on and I'll meet you on your stitch marker. Okay, now that's all the back loops done and as you can see it's left this line going around here which is quite neat and it helps it sit firmer. Now we're going to be doing the sides of the stacking cup. Now my rule of thumb is for whatever row you are finished now, so we've just finished row five, that's how many rounds you need to do on the sides. So we are now going to do five rounds of single crochet all the way round. Remember to take your stitch marker out and replace it each time so you know what row you're on. So I will meet you back at the beginning of row 11. That's after you've done your next five rounds. Now for row 11, I'm just going to be slip stitching all the way around. Like so. 
So you're dragging your yarn through the hole and back through your stitch you've already got. So we do that all the way around. And that just gives it a nice neat edge. And then I'll show you how to tie your ends in. Okay, we've just finished our last slip stitch. I'm gonna cut that piece of yarn. And we're just gonna thread our needle. And we just need to finish it off. So I generally miss this stitch here and go through the next one. Let's try and get underneath it, there we are. And give it a tug. And then I hide it through the back. So we're just gonna pick up some of these back stitches just to secure it. And then I'll trim that tail off. And there we have the smaller of the stacking cups, which is the middle one here. And then we'll go on and start making the others. And what we need to do is we need to repeat what we have just done on the first cup all the way up to row five. So this is our six single crochets in our magic circle. Three, four, five, and six. Pop our stitch marker in. And get rid of that little bump that I've got on the end, this one here, by pulling the main ring and it shrinks away, look, and then tighten it with this one. So if I let you carry on up until row five, so you're going to do the next row is going to be an increase in all stitches, the one after that one single crochet increase, the next one two single crochet increase, and then I will meet you at row five. Now I've just finished row four, which is two single crochets and an increase. So we're going to go straight into row five. And yes, you guessed it. We're making a bigger cup. So we're going to do three single crochets before our increase. So for every cup, you're going up a size. You're going to increase each this particular round by one. So on the next cup, you'll do round five, but on round six, you'll do another one of an increase. So that would be uh, four single crochets and an increase on that one. But we'll look at that when we get there. So if you want to carry on round, I'll meet you under the stitch marker. Into round six on this one, we're going to be doing the back loops only again. So you need to go all the way around back to your stitch marker, just going in these back loops here. So I'll let you carry on, pause the video and I'll meet you back under your stitch marker. Okay, that's the back loops done. So that's row six finished. Now the rule of thumb is however many rows you get to now is however many rows you do to finish the top. So we're on row six. So we are now gonna do six rows of just single crochet all the way around. So you need to remember to replace your stitch marker at the end of every round. And you're going through both loops now, all the way around for six rows. And I will meet you back at the beginning of row 13. So just finished round 12. So round 13, we're finishing it off with our slip stitch round. So you just pull the stitch straight through. So pull up a loop, pull it straight through the one that's on your hook. So if you carry on going round and then I'll show you how we sew in our ends. Okay, that was our last slip stitch finished for that round. I'm just gonna cut a length. And we are gonna sew in this end. So we thread our needle. Oh. Make sure we get all of the strands. So I generally miss this next stitch here and go through this one. 
pull it tight and then it looks like it should have been there and then work our way down under some of these stitches and trim the end and there we have our second stacking cup going up in size so the next one will be our third cup so if you want to start all the way up to row six which will be you would have finished row five which would be your three single crochets and your increase that you did on this one and i will meet you at row six now row six is going to be four single crochets and then our increase So for every cup you go up for that one extra row of increases and increase so you carry on press pause <coughs> excuse me and i meet you under your stitch marker row seven we are doing our back loop only round So every stitch is a single crochet in the back loops only. And I will meet you back under your stitch marker. Okay, so that was row seven. We are now doing seven rows of single crochet all the way around through both loops. And this will make the sides. So I will let you carry on and I will meet you at the beginning of row 15. Just finished row 14 and we are now finishing with a row of slip stitches all the way around. So I will let you carry on. I don't need to show you how to finish off again because you've already done that. So I will meet you on the last cup. Now it's time for the last one. So we're on to the fourth cup. So again, you're going to do your magic circle and then the next row will be your increase. And then you're going to do one single crochet increase for the next row. Work your way up until you get to four single crochets and increases what you had on the previous one. And then I'll meet you back there. Okay, we're just about to start row seven. So we have done our each round all the way up to four single crochets and an increase. So this round you're on five single crochets and an increase because we're doing the next size up cup. So if you want to carry on going all the way round, we're doing five single crochets, then you'll increase. So we just finished our row seven and we're going on to row eight, which is again, all your back loop only round. So we're gonna do one single crochet into every stitch in all these back loops. So if you wanna hit pause and I will meet you back under the stitch marker when you finish your round. Okay, we're now on to row nine. So rows nine all the way through to row 16 is just one single crochet. So you've got eight rounds of single crochet all the way around to build the sides up. Oops, do that one again. So I'm gonna get you to hit pause again and I will see you at the beginning of row 17. Okay, we're just about to start row 17 now and we are gonna be going back to our slip stitches. So go through, pull up a loop and bring it straight back through the loop on your hook. Now, if you want to carry on with that, I will meet you back under the stitch marker. Okay, that's all the slip stitches finished. We're just gonna cut the yarn and sew it in. Now, if you want to make more of these cups to make obviously the next size up and keep going, you just need to add one stitch on your increases on the way round, but you do need to remember to add another row when you're doing the sides. So we're just going to hide this yarn in here. And then I'm going to trim it off like so. So that is the large cup. They all fit inside. 
and again just keep making them larger on each row and then you can go as large as you like let's feed them in so now we have the blue set to go with the pink and if you like the video please like subscribe and i'll pop another one up